Welcome back today in our Sunday Spotlight author, Luann Rice. She's written three dozen books, the most recent based in Connecticut. And in a minute, she'll tell us about her new novel. It's coming out later this year. We hope we've started a tradition. This is her second summer joining us to share her summer book suggestions written by some of her favorite authors. And last time she joined us by Zoom today, she's here in person. We joked last time it was going to be Eric and Luann's book club. We're doing it. I love it. And it's been that way all year, but we only get to meet in the summer. I know. Well, that's we, we live like two miles from each other, but we just see each other on Twitter and now finally in person. And hopefully at the ice cream stand soon. We'll keep, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Yeah. So I want to talk about your book. Very exciting. Coming out in December last night, but I want to do our reading suggestions first, and then we'll, uh, we'll take you through uh, your book and get people excited to buy it. Um, so we're talking books you could read on the beach this summer, and the first one you gave us is Reef Road by Deborah Goodrich Royce. Tell us about that. That is an absolutely beautiful mystery noir, um, which is Deborah's sort of uh, strength and her uh, kind of her, her beat as a writer. It takes place in Palm Beach. Uh, she's a Connecticut resident, but she takes us to Palm Beach, and it's it starts with an absolute shock where um, somebody is walking down the beach and finds a severed hand, and that leads into one mystery. Um, to find out what happened, obviously. Meanwhile, there's a writer who lives um, just down the road who's working on um, a novel based on a murder that affected her mother as a child. And what is really layered and interesting about this book is that Deborah, it's a real true life story. Her own mother, um, her best friend was killed when she was a child. And so it's kind of like how crime goes through the generations, you know, and doesn't just affect the people, obviously, that are involved in it, but also generations ahead. And I, I'm going to ask you about the rest of the books, but just so people aren't scrambling to go find a pen, we're going to put them all up on a graphic later, and I'll put them on my Facebook page. So if you want to do Eric and Luann's book club this summer, <laughs> we'll have all that for you. I'll put it on mine, too. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I Will Find You by Harlan Coben. Yes. So Harlan is one of the most beloved writers, and he's been at it for a really long time. Uh, some of you may know his name from Netflix. He has a lot of movies on there and a lot of series on there. But this book opens with a man who's in prison, wrongly accused of having murdered his own son. Five years later, his wife's sister comes upon a photograph of an amusement park, and there's the child with an unmistakable birthmark, so we know, she knows it's him. And the father, David, has to break out of prison to go searching for his son. And the whole time, you're not really sure if it is his son. You don't know who, what the forces are behind all this. So it's really riveting and emotional. And, and a good one that if you're sitting there on the sand in your beach chair, you're going to want to keep turning those pages. Completely. All of these were chosen with that in mind. <laughs> and and to have, enjoy it on the beach. Yes. Loyalty by, uh, is it Scottaline? Lisa, Lisa Scottaline? Lisa Scottolini. Scottolini. Um, it is, so here we're taking our readers to Sicily a um, hundred years ago, and it opens in a just absolutely magical setting of a lemon grove where Franco has been toiling in this lemon grove for his whole life. He wants to do anything he can to please the baron who owns it. Well, the baron asks him to kidnap somebody else's child. That, that is um, Franco's way of making his dreams come true, is to become a terrible criminal. Meanwhile, a very idealistic young lawyer, Gaetano, um, is going to do whatever he can to bring justice. So it's these sort of dueling forces that are really fascinating with people following their own hearts and dreams, but in very different ways. And, and just the lush setting of Sicily. Beautiful. Well, yeah, you can be on a beach in Connecticut, but you will really be in, you know, in you, Italy. You'll smell the lemon groves and the olive trees, right? You, you totally will. Uh, City of Dreams by Don Winslow. Okay, this is a great favorite of mine. Now, it follows up City on Fire by, not, by Don, and, um, but you don't have to have read that to love City of Dreams. The title, in a way, is a play on where it's set, which is L.A., Hollywood. And the main character is one of my favorite characters that has you know, come along in forever, um, Danny Ryan. Danny Ryan is from the Irish mob in Providence, He's running from both the law and uh, the Italian mob in Providence. Everything Danny does is motivated by love. He's a really complicated guy who does a lot of really bad things, but with a really good heart. It's just riveting. And I also want to 
say that the audio of this book is especially wonderful. Um, you know how sometimes when people are trying to do a Providence accent, yeah. it's really a bad Boston accent? This narrator, Ari Fliakas, uh, um, is just incredible. And I'm, I'm, my grandmother's from Providence, so I was really, you know, testing. Yeah. yeah. But it's really riveting. It's great. I don't want to run out of time talking about oh. your book, so we have two more. Give us quick things. Dead oh. Man's Wake? Dead Man's Wake brings, is by Paul Dwaran brings back Mike, Mike Bowditch, which is a main game warden who um, uh, we've known him in other books. And it, and it opens with Mike's um, engagement party and bad things happen. All right. And welcome <laughs> to Beachtown by Susan Wiggs. Susan Wiggs is one of my favorite writers. And this is about, uh, it takes place in a, in a beach on the West Coast in California. And um, it, it's a girl who's gone to, you know, from a working class family. Her dad is a surfer. She goes to a fancy private school. and. She has to tell a secret, brings it into the open that turns everybody in town against her. Um, but it's you know a lot of surf, a lot of beach, a lot of love, and a lot of you know kind of r ramifications from telling the truth. All right, so let's move. We'll have all those for people if they want to get those summer reads. And then, of course, we're thinking Christmas gifts now because we're already into <laughs> December. We're skipping right along, Louie. Tell us about your book, Last Night. Last Night um, takes place at the Ocean House in Watch Hill, Rhode Island. And it is also opens with a, a about to be a marriage proposal, and instead um, a dead body is found on the path right next to Taylor Swift's house. And it, oh, and it brings back characters from both Last Day and uh, the Shadow Box. So. So Last Day was in 2020, Shadow Box 2021, and now in 2023 we get Last Night, and just that setting of the Ocean House. I mean, there couldn't be a more quintessential. New England setting, and then of course, ironically, Taylor Swift lives next door. You know, <laughs> no, it's very romantic, and it's also really kind of harrowing because it takes place in a blizzard. Cool. Yeah. And uh, will it transport the the reader right there? Is that your goal? Yes, and it's at Christmas time and holidays, so it's very decorated. It's very kind of it. it it's atmospheric. It's atmospheric, but hopefully, you'll feel like you're in the snowstorm, and um, you know, it's kind of your closed in you're shut in there are a lot of blazing fireplaces and but still <laughs> very cool uh, now we follow each other on twitter so i've been following your, uh, your 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 trips around and going places and you talked about this mystic art exhibit you mentioned yes. it on twitter and you want us to mention it again today tell people because a lot of our viewers can run over there and check this out i know you're the writer but tell us about the art okay so and a lot of my work is about art this is one of the most wonderful unusual exhibitions i've seen it's uh, it's called derriere le miroir which means behind the mirror and it, um, it's bright, beautiful art that was done uh, right after World War II when people were grieving in Paris. And so it's, it's uplifting, it's really mysterious and beautiful. And you can go to Mystic and be by the water and have a coffee at Sift. And, and read one of your books or read one of these suggestions yes, and then go check it the out. Bench, yes, exactly. Well, we are all out of time, but we promise to have you back. Eric, Eric and Luann's Book Club will continue and we will <laughs> post all these things. You're on social media, yes. my social media, we'll get it everywhere. People can read them. Wonderful. Thank you for being Thank with us. Thank you for having me. We, uh, we want to show you one more time. Take a look at your screen. We'll show you all six of those titles. These are the recommendations. City of Dreams, I Will Find You, Loyalty, Reef Road, Dead Man's Wake, and Welcome to Beach Town. We'll post this graphic on my Facebook page, and you can check it out. Luann's book, of course, last night. It drops on December 5th. You can pre-order it now at your favorite bookstore. And remember, it'll be out just in time uh, for the holidays. And you said there's a big thing happening at Ocean House the next night. Um, yep. We'll December have more on 6th. that coming up December 6th. Mark your calendars. That's CT23 for this week. CBS Sunday Morning is next. We'll see you back here next weekend.